G'day everyone, Wayne from Land and Bay Fishing South East Queensland. Glad to have you back. Another maps video. Today we're going to talk about Donnybrook, the boat ramp at Donnybrook, the flats just to the north of Donnybrook, Glasshouse Creek to the north of Donnybrook, and to a lesser degree, to the south of Donnybrook, Bullockhead Creek. The first map you're looking at is just a map of how to get to Donnybrook. So north out of Brisbane on the highway, look for Palmerstone Road exit, and take that and travel east. When you're travelling east, follow the signs to Donnybrook, you can't miss it. This map shows you where Donnybrook is relative to Bribey Island. Across onto Bribey Island and just to the north you've got Mission Point, which is a boat access only camping area. And if you want to put your boat in, you can put your boat in at Donnybrook and take your gear across the Mission Point quite easily. Now when you get to Donnybrook and Glasshouse Creek, the green zone isn't too far to the north. So make sure you check your maps and know where the green zone is. Glasshouse Creek is a conservation area but it isn't a green zone. So you can go fishing in Glasshouse Creek, you can go crabbing in Glasshouse Creek. When you arrive at Donnybrook, a good place to get your bearings is the boat ramp. This is the boat ramp here, it's right at the end of Grant Lane. Go and have a look at the boat ramp and that's a good place to, to work out where you are and where you should start the flats fishing and also to put your boat in to go around into Glasshouse Creek if you're going to go crabbing. Now just to the north of the boat ramp of the flats area that I like, it is pretty muddy there so it's not like your hard ground. Um, you will need good boots and um, you can wade through there, flick for your soft plastics. Also uh, get good brim through there and you can wade all the way up pretty much to the mouth. You've just got to be careful. If you're going to wade this area and chase flathead and brim, very, very productive. Highly recommend the hard bodies. Um, I throw, I like throwing the uh, Rapala X-Rap 8s, the Rapala X-Rap 10s. Uh, they don't need to be upgraded. The hooks are quite good that come in the box. So have a look at those. You can also use the Diver Double Clutch. They're a good, good lure for this area. And if you're going to fi fish soft plastics, soft plastic I like to use on a 3.8 headlock jig head is the um, Z-Man 3-inch and 3.5-inch paddle tails and curly tails. Just a quick look at Navionics for the mouth of uh, Glasshouse Creek. You can see quite a deep hole there at the mouth. Well worth trying if you're boat based. Um, quite a distance to get there if you're land based. I don't think you'll be able to cast to that, uh, to that area. So you will need a boat to fish that hole. This map here outlines Glasshouse Creek. Um, it's uh, quite a long creek but it narrows off dramatically and it's got a lot of overgrowth. Quite a good creek to go mud crabbing and quite a good creek to throw your soft plastics and hard bodies around for the flathead. Bullockhead Creek just to the south of uh, Donnybrook. Now between Bullockhead Creek and Donnybrook you can also wade the flats all the way down through there. Uh, a lot of growth and it's well worth exploring. That brings us to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Hit the like button if you've got something out of the video and if you haven't already please subscribe.